I'm really offended. I'm really angry. That's Daniel Hernandez taking to social media. People aren't treated like this unless you're gay. Like, voicing frustration after donating plasma. And I wanted to do something good. My mom would just buried her on Friday. Hernandez inspired to donate after his mother passed away from COVID. He also contracted the virus. Well, I have my natural blood that has antibodies do some good for other people. Hernandez sat down with KTSM. It's very offensive, you know that to be turned away when you're a good person. To share his experience, one that left him feeling uneasy and embarrassed. They have you watch a video. Hernandez says he came here to CSL Plasma. And then they said you, there's a, a, a questionnaire. It was one particular question, he says. A hundred percent, I feel it's discrimination. That made staff treat him differently. And then the lady says, um, you checked off, you had uh, male to male sex. I was like, yeah, uh, I did. Hernandez says he was questioned about his sexual status not once, not twice. So then she sends me across this hall. She says, go do, uh, you have to do this uh, physical. But multiple times from different staff members. And the girl goes over my, she has my stuff on the screen. And she's going over it. And she just, she's looking through it. And she said, um, you checked off the male to male sex. And I was like, Oh, God, yes, I did. It's not that scandalous. It's 2021. Hernandez says ultimately his plasma was marked deferred, which he says staff told him means there was no guarantee his plasma, even with those valuable COVID antibodies, could be used at all. We reached out to CSL Plasma for comment. Its corporate office's response reads in part, quote, we are unable to comment on this specific matter given our interest in respecting donor privacy. To be sure, we follow donor collection and deferral guidelines issued by a variety of regulatory authorities. Do you see this as discrimination? I, I, I do because, again, sexual orientation doesn't mean sexual behaviors. Alex Ramirez with the Borderland Rainbow Center and a registered nurse says screening questions should change. I mean, this could be a homosexual man who's been monogamous with somebody however long, but because he identifies as gay, all of a sudden he's refused. After running in circles with medical staff, Hernandez says they finally pointed to guidelines issued by the FDA. It's such an important time. It, this thing needs to be re-examined. It needs to be re-evaluated. It's, it's silly and it's dumb. We did our own research to clarify the regulations. The FDA writes, it revisited recommendations to reduce HIV several times over the past 10 years. The FDA had a deferral period of 12 months for male-to-male -male sexual contact, but in April of last year, guidelines changed in an effort to secure more blood donations. Male donors now have to wait three months. People still think HIV is going to affect the blood, and there's been so much progress in treating HIV. It's, we're not in the 80s anymore. Hernandez pointing to the AIDS crisis of the 1980s, when gay and bisexual men were prohibited from donating blood. Forty years later, with advancements in technology and screening for HIV, he says the stigma needs to end. I don't think that when you're in the hospital in ICU for two weeks, you're going to care if it's a gay man's blood.